Are you talking to me? Yeah. Am I an old lady? No. What? <laughs> Somebody actually told me recently that I do my makeup like an old lady. So now we have to do a makeup tutorial. Welcome to my mobile office. Actually, welcome to my office. People wanted a tour of my office and truly, my office is right here in my car because it's the only place I get peace and quiet, except for the <laughs> fact that this one is playing a hooky from school today. We just got the other kids dropped off and I'm gonna show you why and how I do what I do. Guys, oh, by the way, I only have partial makeup on right now. Every day, I get up, I shower, I get my butt in the car with the kids, start making my rounds, drop them off, and in between drop-offs, I like do one piece of my makeup at a time. So I am gonna, gonna finish my makeup real quick and then we'll continue this tour. This is how we do it, guys. This is how we do it. We drop off kids. We throw a hat on because we don't have time to do our hair. That's why and I chopped it. And you tuck me in between the seats. I tuck her in between the seats. I throw some makeup on and I go on with my day. Almost done. Almost done. Guys, I don't take time but more than five minutes to do my makeup every day. It has to be something that's so simple that can get me on my way because time is like so limited. That is mascara on my fingertips. <laughs> makeup is done. Five minutes or less. This is not just a mobile office. This is a mobile home. I store my, ma I do my makeup. I do my work. I store my kids back here. I have my, look at this. I keep my workout belt. So if I want to get a workout in, I can literally just work out. But this is how I do it. I bring my backpack and in my backpack I have like, actually how I do it is I drop the kids off and as I'm typically doing my makeup, I am handling calls and juggling text messages. I think this is the side of my life that most people don't see. I tend to film a lot of YouTube, not YouTube, but Instagram videos of me having fun and doing things with the kids. And that really does happen, but there's also a lot, lot, lot of really hard work and juggling. I mean, a handful of businesses. I have 10 different projects that I'm running, including, and seven of them are different businesses um, at any point in time. And it's so important that my office is a place where I can go where people don't need me because throughout the day, I am needed. I'm on, in any every business that I'm a part of, I have a specific role and I have a specific team of people that's holding up and really making the engine run while I'm doing the things that only I can do, which have to do with my brand and my creativity and my business expertise. So I almost advise and consult for a lot of different of my companies. Um, but that does require that my office space is a place where I can go where people are not needing me. I can do so much of my thinking in this car. I literally, I mean, podcasts, if I don't need video, I come in here, um, any magazine interviews, most of my really intense business calls happen right here. And I don't use AirPods. I use wired headphones that I have to untangle. Give me, oh! <laughs> All right, but this is a lot of my day right here. My phone died. It's 11.30 a.m. My phone did die. Just got it turned back on five minutes later and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine text messages. I currently have a cool 485 text messages that are unread. Email, oh, 491. See, it just like auto-populated because I had my phone off for a minute. Um, 4,000 emails. I actually have gotten to the place where I have somebody going through my emails every day and twice a day she's calling me or sending me text messages to say what things I need to get back to immediately. Um, th this is a whole side of me that I don't think people know exist and those that are closest to me know me first and foremost as more of a business person and am I fun? Yeah, I'm a lot of fun. I am. <laughs> I'm, yeah. <I'm laughs> do, do I do a lot of work? But then do I stop working and snuggle with you a lot too? I do, because that's my favorite. Everyone wanted kind of an office tour. So the reality is I'm a very organized person by nature um, with so much going on in my life. Organization is somewhat out the window in every team that I have. So every business from my skincare business to uh, my supplement, my app, the coaching business, 
my digital products. Um, we're starting an IV business. So all of these different businesses have, they all the teams have different ways of organizing things. I have a couple different assistants that they report back to and they report to me, but my assistants help keep me in order and they send me to-do lists on my phone every day. And I just have really chaotic, um, look, I use a lot of post-its. These are my to-do lists. It's, it's, it's nuts. And then inside of my phone on notes, I have way too many to-do lists as well. And every once every couple weeks, I kind of go through and I consolidate them. So I have a computer. Oh, this is my backpack that I carry everywhere. I carry my transform low carb meal replacement shake everywhere. This is not an ad. This is real life. This is the mint cookie. And if you don't have it, you're gonna want it. Lots of cords. I got a lot of cords in here and this is just the beginning. Lots of gum because I'm always talking to people. I mean like lots of gum. Hold on, look at this. I don't mess around. Can you tell I have a favorite flavor? Let's see what else. A lot of notebooks. A lot of notebooks. I have notebooks for different things. So obviously the one on my lap. These are different projects. And then um, I have to have a book. So I usually listen to my books on airplanes in Audible. But sometimes it doesn't work that way. I used to think reading books was a thing that you did when you, like for leisure. I am a firm believer now over the past year and a half since I've been going through my divorce and I've been in a place where I'm trying to reinvent who I am and figure out who I am and be the best version of myself and most balanced business, mom, I mean all the things, I realized that this is actually a part of my work and it is up to me to make sure I understand emotional agility and I understand like tips and tricks to being more organized and running businesses efficiently and diving into whatever it might be that's limiting my own beliefs and holding me back. Um, so I do believe this is a very important part of my work day. Ooh, gym in a bag, gym in a bag. Lunch break. We always tell people on your lunch break at work, go do some glute kickbacks. This is turning into what's in my backpack. I am not an alcoholic. <laughs> this has been in my backpack. I'm blaming Bruce for this. It's been in my backpack. You know Bruce, Michael. <laughs> this has been in my backpack for about seven months. I carried it for Bruce and it's still here. I'm not a big drinker. And lots of cords because every office needs cords. <laughs> the only thing I lack are filing cabinets, but so I got that right here. Um, I have the computer, which I do occasionally connect to hotspot, but honestly, I don't use my computer much. I do so much of my work on my phone. And as a busy mom who has been trying really hard over the past year and a half to not utilize a nanny, especially the past three months. Um, like I, I really, when it's my time with my kids, I feel like it's super important that that's when work stops and that's when this office right here becomes a home. As crazy as it sounds because any busy mom knows, yes, a home is a home and we all need to be in our actual homes. But any busy mom understands that as much as we want home time to always be inside of the four walls of an actual home. Sometimes it's within the four walls of a car because we spend so much time picking our kids up from school, driving them to school. I have four kids in three different schools on different sides of the valley. I do all of the running around myself. Um, maybe 10% of the time I might get help from somebody else, but I feel like these car rides are my time to connect with my kids and I try really hard to um, not have phone calls, not have conference calls, not have anything scheduled when I'm with my kids, um, which is why if you were to drop in during a work part of my day, say from 9 a.m. after kids are at school until 2 p.m., which is when I start picking them up, I am crazy pants all over the place. I am in this car the majority of the time and I cannot take interruption from anybody because it throws me out of my groove. I'll only go in an office, an actual office, if I need to get a project done with a particular person, but this is where I jam. This is where I do so much of my work. Now that you've had an, a tour of my office, what else is it that you want to see from me? What can I help you with? What can I answer? Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here, guys. Wait, I love you all. That's Mwah. not it. That's not it. <laughs> the timing. I also made two <laughs> two Christmas ornaments for my mom. I mean, as hard as today is going to be working with her in my backseat, how can I and even do that? still subscribe. <laughs> Heidi out. <laughs>